Chapter 6 Developing Liquid Content We have a definition of content, and that is the creation of stories that are to be expressed through every possible connection. For the Coca Cola Company, each story must add value and significance to people's lives. Our content is the substance or matter of brand engagement and conversation. As such, it has to be the world's most engaging content. And we have a definition of liquid. Elements of content that move freely amongst themselves but do not become separated stories, rather like molecules that become gases if they become too separate. Our stories must remain connected. But these ideas will be so compelling they take on a life force of their own. The fluidity of our ideas means that no one model of development can do it all. We need more collaborative and adaptive and continuous models of development. We are working with several different models right now, from working directly with creative talent, to working with brand fans, to working with new creative industry collaborators, to working with a rock star single agency across all of our particular needs. All of these require different processes, but all require the same principles. We have five guiding principles in co-creation. The first is to inspire participation amongst the very, very best. The second is to connect these creative minds. The third is to share the results of our efforts. The fourth is to continue development. And the fifth is to measure our success. So how do we manage the development of a liquid idea? Our role is to govern its flow. We need to define the North Star, some big audacious impact on popular culture. We need to bring out the creativity in all those we work with. We need to encourage bravery. We need to be a catalyst for play. We need to ensure clarity in our thinking. We need to embrace risk and all that entails. And we need to incubate creative ideas and create a culture of creativity. We also know that world-class creative ideas need tension in order to make them thrive. So we need to all learn how to use conflict constructively, as conflict can truly be an enabler of outstanding creative thinking. Chapter 7. Applying the 70-20-10 Investment Principles for Liquid Content how do we apply the 70-20-10 model to content development? On the one hand, we have low-risk content, which is where 70% of our investment should be. This is the bread and butter content. It pays the rent. It's our passport to the 10. This content should consume less time resource, perhaps 50% of the time. Then we have 20% of the content, and this is where we innovate off what works. This engages more deeply with a more specific audience, but still with broad scale. And then we have high-risk content. This is 10%. These are brand new ideas. These will become tomorrow's 20 or 70. We need to declare learning intent up front. We need to be prepared to fail, and we need to be celebrate both failure and success. If we take a look at Fanta, you could argue that Fanta's TVC's Out of Home and Shopper is in the 70%, the Mime spoof from Brazil was in the 20%, and the Rollerball interactive campaign that we're producing is in the 10%. Chapter 8. Researching Liquid Content Working with knowledge and insights, we agree that our current approach to researching content needs urgent address. Twelfth Force, Gatorade, Second Generation Old Spice, Nike's Write the Future and Nike's Live Strong, these campaigns were all birthed without pre-testing quantitative research. Why? Well, the 30-second TV ad is only a chapter of the idea. 
Rather like FIFA, it's not the idea in its entirety. The business demands liquid content, but our current pre-testing approach solidifies content too early in the process. For liquid content, any approach that solidifies or evaporates a liquid idea has to be the enemy. Reviewing our current research approach, we need to recalibrate where and how we invest our research budget. Currently, we spend about 20% of funds in qualitative testing, which is an increasingly outmoded and irrelevant tool. Then we spend around 60% of our budget on heavy executional link testing. And finally, we spend around 20% of our budget on static in-market testing through the B-cubed and AdTrack tools. As we move to a more liquid and linked world, we will increasingly develop big ideas that are not 30-second TV-centric. Therefore, we must develop greater capabilities in testing the ideas. We need to understand how to use research to expand the potential of the creative spaces and the ideas we are creating. In the future, we would like to see around 30% of our research budget invested in inspirational provocation tools like the Immersion Safaris, Communispace and Connect in our upfront creative process. Then, as we start to develop specific creative proof points, we must avoid qualitative testing of scripts altogether. Instead, we'd like to spend around 15% of the total budget on interactive feedback and online consumer dialogue tools. This type of approach will enable us to take these early creative spaces and evolve them into compelling A to Z story arcs. Working directly with consumers is exciting. Consumers produce more brand stories than we do, so let's move towards genuine consumer collaboration. Once we've developed actual stories, say in the form of TVCs, we still recommend link testing, but in a much more efficient and cost-effective manner. A more efficient approach would see the total link budgets be reduced from, say, 60% to 30% of total. And finally, in-market testing. We'd like to see more investment in conversational and real-time testing and in the iterative evolution of content once it's in the marketplace. We've noticed that as soon as we've launched a conversation, we as a company tend to move on far too early. And what we'd like to do is learn how to fuel the conversations that we're having in the long term. In addition to B-cubed and AdTrack, we recommend greater investment in NetBase, the effective tool developed by Knowledge and Insights to measure the positive buzz and impact our efforts create. Chapter 9. Applying the dollar multiplier to the iterative production process. Moving into production, we need a more fluid approach to the production process. In a liquid world, we need multiple content, so we need a lot more stuff without a lot more dollars. We need to plan for this in the outset, and we've developed a principle called the dollar multiplier. We also need to accept that some content needs won't be known until we're in market, so we must maintain flexibility so we can respond to the conversations. In a liquid world, we need tent pole and tent peg productions. Each is vital in holding up the brand story. We need to fuel the development of both through new and emerging creative models, working with new and different creative partners. As a result, we will probably increase the percentage of production spend working directly with production companies. Remember, we need to iterate, iterate, iterate. Don't just replicate your production content. Chapter 10, in summary. So there you have it. It is a new liquid world for the Coca-Cola company and we have a new North Star. We need to produce liquid ideas that earn a disproportionate share of popular culture. And in so doing, we're confident of our part in meeting the company's Vision 2020 ambition.